I had a meeting with Sam Bankman Fried for the first time in March this past year. I never met the man. He asked to meet with me at a conference. And I sat down with him. I said, what is your end goal? He says, well, I want to compete with you. I said, great. I'm all for competition. What do you want to do? He says, well, I want to compete with you in crypto. And I said, why would you do that? I said, I'll, tell, I'll give you one better. How about if I give you my crypto franchise that's worth $30 million and we'll go from there? He says, well, what do you want? I said, you know what I want. Let me be your risk manager. Mm -hmm. I'll clear it to make sure it's done properly. He says, well, you won't deploy my model. I said, your model is crap. Why would I deploy a model that's going to introduce risk to the system? Of course, I'm not going to deploy your model. He turned me down, flat out turned me down. And that's right away I said to him, I said, you know what? You're a fraud. You're an absolute fraud. You're supposedly worth $26 billion and you're an altruist. And you, I said, if you're an altruist at $26 billion, how come there's not a $10 billion donation going to somebody right this moment in time? How about a $15 billion donation? I said, you know what? I said, my net worth doesn't start with any Bs. I'll give you three to one that I have more money than you. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you four to one. I got more money in my right pocket than your net worth. I said, you're a fraud and I'm going to make sure that we get this out there. And that was it. So we went to Congress. I testified and I've been to Congress 25 years. I've never seen a Washington, D.C., like I saw that time, from the regulators to the members of Congress singing hymns that I'd never heard before. Mm -hmm. And I got berated in a congressional hearing, but I would not back off. I said that you could lose 85 to 90 percent of your value overnight. And I said, he will not commit to keeping this just to crypto. I said, the reason is because he wants to deploy it across all asset classes. I said, that is a biblical disaster if you people allow this to happen. Well, I didn't know how right I was going to be in a short period of time because he lost 85% of his FTT tokens in mm -hmm. literally one day. So the point being is we went through this whole thing and then I worked back with the agency and I said, they wanted to approve it for just crypto. I said, well, that would be lovely, except that would be an arbitrary decision to approve a regulatory change for one asset class. And they argued with me, said, no, it's not. We have the ability to do it. I said, well, we're going to have an argument here because I will sue. And so we'll sue the agency over this because we think it's wrong. We need. And I met with every agricultural producer in this country and I explained to them exactly if their asset class went under this type of model, what could happen to their hedges at 11 o'clock on a Saturday night when they're unbeknownst to what's going on, when they're being auto liquidated and they think their crops are hedged? I said, this is the most detrimental thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So I'm upset by this, but I'm a measured upset. Mm -hmm. I'm a very measured upset because nobody else was calling BS on these clowns but me. My friends at the Intercontinental Exchange are the only other exchange that said, we do not like this as well. Everybody else wanted to talk about the innovation.